Hello there and welcome to Gaia, a practical guide, version 2. I'm Wayne Robson, um, I've been working in the 3D industry for well over 25 years, I'm not exactly sure how long it is now, but uh, you know, I started in the last century. So I've worked in lots of different places, from being a lead lighting artist at MPC, I've been 3D supervisor, I've done lots of different jobs, not all of it about terrain, but I've done a fair bit of that as well. Now. This is the main project uh, that we do right at the very end of this tutorial and it's quite complicated. We're using a number of sat maps we can control in various ways so we can get nice little dark patches here and bits of sand and stuff like that. We also show from a geometry and erosion point of view how we can best control all this to get what we want, how to solve certain issues that we come across. At one point in this there's a couple of areas that I don't like the look of so I've got a rather nifty little trick that I have to solve those issues, which you might find handy. As well as this, there's a simple project, which is the ever popular snowy mountain range. Because everybody starts off making a mountain range. It's, you know, usually covered in snow and it's a very good way to get your feet wet. But there's also many, what I would call mini projects as I'm going through all these nodes. Because often the best way of showing how a node works is to actually explain it and show it in use. So we go through every single node in this toolbox, the whole lot. We go through the UI, you know, everything. And I don't think I've, I've missed anything out at all. There's been a lot of work went into this one. If you're seeing this on YouTube uh, as a trailer, then if you're interested in Gaia, I would heartily recommend it because this will take you from zero to hero, as the you know, tagline would say. Um, quite fast. If you've already used Gaia and you want to get up to speed with a lot of the new nodes and how you you know improve your workflow, this is also for you. If you've already bought it, thank you very much for not pirating it. Uh, you know, independent creators like myself do suffer at the hands of pirates quite often. So I've been fairly lucky the last few years that this hasn't been uh, as much of a case. So thank you to those that do buy things, and I do appreciate it. Um, so let's crack on and learn some Gaia. 